Extreme Trends presents This caterpillar looks innocent, but it hospitalized this four-year-old with one touch. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. A caterpillar is a young butterfly or moth that has just hatched out of its egg. A caterpillar is a kind of larva. They have a fascinating life cycle, transforming from larva, pupa, and at last into an adult butterfly. Caterpillars usually have three pairs of small but noticeable true legs at the front and up to five pairs of fleshy false legs at the back. Caterpillars are commonly found feeding on leaves, but they are also found inside living stems and branches or on the roots of plants and dead wood. There are about 180,000 different types of caterpillars. Some caterpillars are adorable, fuzzy little bugs that chew on leaves and turn into beautiful butterflies. At first glance, they seem like harmless critters. In fact, some seem like little works of art found in nature. They look very delicate, but being animals, they have their own way to defend themselves from predators. And some caterpillars, such as the puss caterpillar, possess a dangerous edge. Let's see how a little kid has been affected by this. Lauren May Jordan, 26, a mother of two from Plymouth in Devon, felt horrified upon seeing what had happened to her son, Bo. It was a normal playdate for her and Bo. The sun was up and everything seemed to be perfect. They used to bond with each other over their backyard. Since Lauren was familiar with their routine, she was pretty happy that Bo was experiencing the vibes of nature and their surroundings. However, something totally unexpected took place. Just after their playtime, they went inside the house to have some dinner before going to sleep. That was when Lauren suspected something unusual about her son. She didn't worry too much at first, she just thought that maybe Bo got tired of playing. So she just decided to prepare him for bed. While he was sleeping that night, he began feeling cold and extreme drowsiness. That was when he started having a fever. He got sick and his condition only worsened the next day. It was breakfast time when Lauren noticed that her boy looked extremely tired and his face looked puffy and swollen. They waited for him to go to the toilet as he hadn't been drinking any fluids. It was during that night that Lauren started to get worried. From there, she decided to rush Bo to the hospital because she started to fear that something wrong had happened. Though Bo spent hours in Dereford Hospital, he now has no memory of ever being sick. While he ended up making a full recovery without treatment, Lauren was still so shaken by the experience. Lauren sought advice from the emergency doctors, who advised her to take her young son to the accident and emergency department of the hospital. Upon arriving at the emergency department, Lauren phoned Devon doctors and they said he may need to get a shot of antihistamines, but she still felt worried. While at the hospital, she then tried to recall everything that happened. She thought maybe Bo had got a bug or something, until her son said that maybe it's from the caterpillar that bit him yesterday. That's when she remembered that Bo was on the doorstep, and he curiously picked up a caterpillar. According to Lauren, she didn't know caterpillars could do this. All she knows is that caterpillars are something that are cute and can be played with. However, it did cause some harm to her son. She believes that the caterpillar looked like the toxic oak processionary moth. The oak processionary is a moth whose caterpillars can be found in oak forests, where they feed on oak leaves, causing significant damage. They travel in nose-to-tail processions, often arrow-headed with a leader followed by rows of several caterpillars abreast. They are a human irritant because of their venomous setae, which can cause skin irritation and asthma. Lauren was able to get a photo of the caterpillar, but because the image is so grainy, they had trouble identifying it. Eventually, Lauren sought help from a caterpillar expert and said that due to the poor quality of the photograph, it was difficult to identify the type, but warned youngsters to keep their children away from any hairy version of the species. Steve Odgen from Wildlife Insights said, some people seem to have more sensitive skin than others, particularly children. So to be on the safe side, it's always best to avoid direct skin contact with any hairy caterpillar. Whilst Bo didn't need any treatment, Lauren wanted to make sure that parents were aware of potential dangers of children picking up caterpillars. She posted her warning on Facebook. She wrote, parents beware, Bo got bitten slash stung by a caterpillar on Friday. Then during the night, he got sick while he was asleep. And during the day, he was still very sleepy and constantly being sick. Ended up at the hospital. Luckily, it was minor, but it carries toxins and could have been much worse. Who knew caterpillars could do this? This will definitely be a big help to everyone that not everything that looks cute would actually not cause any harm. Lauren made an effort to spread the word to as many people as she could to prevent it from happening to other children too. Thanks for watching until the end. Be sure to tap the next videos for more unbelievable stories here on Extreme Trends.